श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव Once I went to somebody's house in USA, and here the children have a board or a sticker on their room. Elders can enter the room only <coughs> if accompanied by children. <laughs> Nobody can enter my room. See? So one boy took me to his room. So I'm here. I want to show, show you something. Then I read that sticker. I say that I am accompanying you, or you are accompanying me. Please tell me first. <clears throat> no, this is my room. Rules are not applied to me at all. So he wanted to show what things he had. Out of that Lego thing, he made so many things. Also those plastic blocks. house then garden and then bridge so beautiful see all this i have made i said what is the use of seeing it it is something like you see all the beautiful dishes rasgulla rabdi jalebi but you can't eat it what is the use of seeing that once in mumbai in prempuri ashram i was having my talks and on another uh, floor some bhagavat katha was going on and uh, swami ji who was doing that he is a very good friend of mine so he left a message when swami ji lecture is over please call him up so i went there chappan bhog so i keep my bhagavad gita book like this without looking at the bhog i went and sat he said why you are done like this i said only for looking if they are there why should i look at it chappan bhog then what do you want i said i want to eat it he said okay go and eat so i went and uh, collected few things whatever i wanted and all the audience oh god now swami ji ka ye khana kha raha hai similarly this boy i told what is the use of seeing all these things you are not giving me he said no take whatever you want i said okay i don't have a house so let me take the house he said wait a minute wait a minute i will take away my blocks you take the house <laughs> what a subtle suggestion is there something called as a house except the blocks put together in a particular shape is it not this our gujarat is gross body our indian gujarat is they say like the gross body subtle body casual body not causal body <laughs> so our gross body is exactly like that house made out of blocks kahi ki eet kahi ka roda bhanumati ne kunba joda brahma ji learned how to create from the bhaiyas in our chaupati in mumbai you go there how they make the bhel they be make taking a old newspaper make a cone out of it and then put three four things in that and put everything and top up with the organic salt give <laughs> exactly this is what brahma ji does in the container of space he takes these four elements and mixes them in different proportions and then he pumps life in them 
and an enlivened body is born. And when the body dies, what exactly happens? Individual air goes back to total air, where from you have borrowed, you have to return it back. The individual heat goes back to the total heat. The individual water goes back to the total water. The individual earth element merges back to the earth element. And whatever space was occupied by that body, that space is vacated for the next body. Who died? If we understand this principle, you can never be miserable. Problem is this. See. So body-wise, nobody dies. There was a great yogi near Shirdi. There is a place called Puntamba. And there was a great yogi who was born 700 years before Christ. And he lived 700 years after Christ. So 1400 years he lived. A great yogi. After every 100 years he will do Kaya Kalpa. Again his body is regenerated and he becomes young. Again live for 100 years. And he came across a great saint, Santa Ganeshwar Maharaj. And then he found that he is nowhere near him. So when he came, he please make me your disciple. He said, I can't be your guru. You go to my sister. His sister was 14 years old. One four. And he was 1400 years old. After having gone there, then instruction started. Tattva Masi Mahavakya. One day that young girl, though there is not this huge mansions, thatch houses without any separate things. So in her small thatch house, she was taking bath naked. And that time this old man, 1400 years, he happens to enter to take instruction from the Guru. She was his Guru. The moment he entered and saw her taking bath without clothes, immediately closes her. Shiva, 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 Shiva. So she started laughing. Then he said, What uh, is there to laugh? I am sorry, I have entered at the wrong time. She said, I am laughing because when you see a cow without clothes, do you feel odd? When you see a goat without clothes, do you feel odd? Why are you feeling odd when you are seeing me without clothes? Because your body identification has not yet gone. All your spiritual practice is null and void. If body identification is not deleted. What does it mean? Should we also leave the clothes and start moving? No. That is not a meaning. Meaning is, start playing. I told you, don't do meditation. Play meditation, meditation. Exactly the same way. Play what it is like being without body. What does it mean? The following things will happen. Number one, only after body identification, this gross world becomes real. This is my everyday meditation. When I go to everyday one or the other place, different place, different bed, different bathroom with different lights, everything is different. So when I sleep, I don't switch off my lights, I keep it on. There are also questions, Swamiji, why you keep your lights on when you sleep? I, I can see better dreams. <laughs> because when I get up, I don't know which side I have to go, where is the bathroom? See? So in the deep sleep, I am nowhere and nobody. So the moment I wake up means what? Body identification. 
then this world comes into existence. And thereafter, till such time, I take myself to be the body, the world and worldly problems will continue to be. Real death is living through the body, but no more living as the body. That is the real death. We say about death, but we don't know how to die. Die in such a manner that next time you don't have to die. This is the story of Srimad Bhagavat Mahapurana. There, Parikshitji was a curse that he will die by the bite of a snake with the, uh, on the seventh day. So he was listening to Bhagavat Mahapurana. And after he came to the last canto, and after that also the snake came and did bite him, and he died. Now the question is, after having heard the whole Bhagavad, if the snake has yet to come and bite, what is the use of seeing, listening to Bhagavad? But those who don't understand, they ask this question. By the time he completed listening to the whole Bhagavad Mahapuran, he has already discarded the notion that he is a body. Therefore, the body was already dead for him. See, friends. So the snake came to a dead body and given a bite. A real death is this death. Therefore, all our spiritual practice must lead to this. When we don't take this world as very real, then what is the net result? Achievements and failures will have hardly any value. And this all can happen only through understanding. There is no other way. And this is what is the real spiritual practice. All other that you do, I am not telling against you, okay? All that you do, Tabla Peti, has nothing to do with Paramatma. Bhagavan Shankaracharya says, Vina Vadana Sondaryam Bhuktaye, Natu Muktaye. See? It's so important to know this. If that is not happening, you may do this only for good for entertainment. Nothing to do with the real soul. See, friends. Therefore, when we really want to walk spiritual path, take Bhagavad Gita's 15th chapter. That day when I went to Amita's mom, I was so happy to see that they were reading and listening uh, Bhagavad Gita in Gujarati. In Bhagavad Gita, 15th chapter, many notions are removed wrong notions. And there the real spiritual practice is indicated. If you study properly 15th chapter of Bhagavad Gita, you have understood the secret of death. Then you will go beyond death. You will never die. First, the teacher tells about this world. Urdva Mula Mada Shakam Ashwatam Prahuravyam Chandam Si Yasya Paranani Yastam Veda Devi. We start looking outside. Spiritual practice begins when you become self-oriented and not selfish. <coughs> selfish people are living by the body, for the body, on everybody. Self-oriented people are living to find out what is the truth. Who is this I? With this vision, now read the same chapter again. Then the world is the uh, tree of the world is not outside. Normal trees, they take, take food from the below and grow upward. Animals eat from the front, grow backwards. 
human beings eat from above grow downwards to urdhva mudha madashakam that tree is not somewhere this body is the tree urdhva mudha madashakam ashvattham constantly changing prahu avyayam but we never realize that this was not the body in which i was born it was some other body that body where i was born has already gone it is not the same body medically they say all the cells of the body are replaced 100% every 7 years so if you are 70 years of age you i have changed 10 bodies see urdhva moolam अदशाकम अश्वत्थम प्रावरयम छंदांसी यस्य परणानी एंड इफ यू वांट टू मेक योर लाइफ ब्यूटीफुल छंदांसी स्क्रिप्चरल अथॉरिटीज छंदस मींस वेद सो लेट आवर लाइफ बी लिव्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्क्रिप्चरल विजडम यहां तम वेद ही हु नोस दिस द पूर्व मूलम बियॉन्ड द बॉडी देयर इज समबडी he alone has understood the truth and a lot of explanations are given if you do sin you go to hell if you go to heaven there are all hundred and one things adas chordam prasruta tasya shaka guna pravruddha vishaye pravala urdham gachanti sastastaha madde tishtanti rajasaha jaganya guna vritti staha अधो गच्छन्ति तामसाः देन तामसिक पीपल गो टू हेल रजोगुणी अगेन बॉर्न एज ह्यूमन बीइंग सत्वगुणी गो टू द गॉड्स ओनली स्टोरीज आफ्टर दिस भगवान श्री कृष्ण सेस न रूपमसेह तथोपलभ्यते नान्तो न चादिर न च संप्रतिष्ठा तस्य रूपम ऑफ दिस बॉडी ट्री it is not like this na upalabhyate don't try to see when iha means vichara kare when you enquire see what is the beginning of the body what is your beginning we have no beginning we are beginning less existence but i have started taking myself to be i am the body and therefore happy birthday to you <laughs> it is the body that is born nobody had experience of birth nobody had experience of growth it is for the first time when the kids call a young girl aunty what is the time please don't call me aunty call me didi are budo <laughs> first time when a man is addressed dada ji baithiye call me uncle don't call me dada because none of us have the experience that we are growing similarly we don't have the experience of death and yet we are afraid of and the same question again and again what happens to me after death my simple answer is when you are alive nothing has happened <laughs> when you are not in this world what was lacking tell me when you will die and go i guarantee you there won't be any problem <laughs> but we have that funny notion one old gentleman asked me from you don't make my fun and don't quote my example in your lecture <laughs> <laughs> so i told what is the problem uh, you know last few days i am having this fear about death i said let us take one by one question first you were fear about death i guarantee you will die <laughs> fear means what whether i will die or i will not die is it not i am afraid whether i will catch the flight or not options are only this way or that way so i guarantee you will die no 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 not that way then what way uh, what happens after death 
just find out what happened when we are alive. We are most unwanted furniture in this universe. It may sound very bitter, but this is the truth. But his parents have this funny notion. Itna pyaar se bada kiya, no maine peet me rakha, kisi din ke liye. Are peet me rakhti? Peet me rakha. You tell me, who needs whom? It is the parents who need the children. Children don't need parents. When there is a marriage and the kids are not born, then they start running from pillar to post. Who needs who? And the parents have this arrogance. What did you do? Every morning get them pump some air or what? <laughs> I saw one small little boy, man, about one and a half feet tall. I said, hey, how come you are not growing? No parents. <laughs> not grow. Ram. All these wrong notions create fear in our mind that I am body and the body is going to die and what will happen after I die. Therefore, we have to correct our understanding. Narupa Maseha Tato Palabhyate Nanto Na Chadi Nadasam Pradishtha It has neither the beginning nor Pradishtha nor end. Like the example I gave you, when the house made out of plastic blocks, when blocks are taken away, will you say that the house is destroyed? Think. Then what is to be done with this body tree? Ashwatthaveenam suvirudhamulam asanga shastrena drudena chitva. This is what is beginning of real spiritual practice. Asanga Shastrena. Enough of this worldly things. Enough. Asanga means detachment. Now here also be very attentive. Detachment you don't have to do my friends. All things that we are telling you is only recognize your own divinity. It is called as Pratyabhigya. Pratyavijna means recognize your own divinity. You don't have to become divine. You are. Recognize. See. So Asanga Shastrena. Trudena Chitva. So what is the Asanga Shastra? It was my alarm for my medicine. No. This is on airful and mode. I am aware of you. <laughs> so, we don't have to be detached. Only become aware that you are never attached. Start one by one. One example I gave you. When I see different people, different colors, different forms, are my eyes or vision attached to anything or anybody? Our ears hear all kinds of sounds. Whether it is the talk or it is the melody of the music or it is the noise of the AC, it makes no difference to the ears. Ears are not attached. Go further. Mind is not attached to any thought. And therefore, so many thoughts come and go. Good thoughts come and go. Bad thoughts come and go. If the mind was attached, second thought will not come. But it does happen, isn't it? Go further. The conscious reality that we are, Chaitanya, is not attached to Waking, dream, deep sleep and samadhi. Waking comes and goes. Who cares? Dream comes and goes. Deep sleep begins and ends. 
Samadhi begins and over. But we are the same. Recognize this nature of yours. You are not attached to anything. The whole life will change, my friends. But then we create attachment. And then the burden of that attachment put together is called as ego. You talk or we talk to anybody. What do we talk? Only two things. Our past um, possessions and our past relations. Try to talk without reference to possessions and relations. Try. Who am I? Only the mule carrying the total past possessions and relations. See? In one of the management gimmicks, I was having a different type of conference. After the necktie, people were at risk. In evening, I said, you bring all your family members, we'll have a lot of fun. So, so many of them came. Then I said, now we'll play. Because I am Aurangzeb. I don't have music. <laughs> so, I don't sing. Therefore, I said, let us play. Then I said, okay, I'll call somebody and you have to speak on some topic I give you. So, I called one child. Maybe five, six years. He came. I said, now you talk about yourself. Anything you talk, we will not object. Mm, you had a big problem, what to talk? I said, come on, start. You got three minutes to talk. Mm, I like chocolates. With big effort, he could say, I like chocolates. Very good, nice, go ahead. Mm, again, problem. I said, come on, talk something. We won't object anything you talk. Mm. I don't like to take bath. <laughs> very good. Very good. See how nice you are talking. Give a good lecture. Again, continue. He said, now there is nothing to talk. I said, you have to stand here for two minutes then. <laughs> he said, if you don't allow me to go, I'll do susu here. I said, then go. <laughs> <laughs> I accepted my defeat. <laughs> Thereafter, now the second person I have to call. I have called one, 92 not out. <laughs> and he came. I said, Babaji, you have to talk for um, three minutes about yourself. And he started. Three minutes over. Four minutes over. I said, Bawaji, time is over. You go. No, I have just now started. I said, no, you cannot. You can No, you go. No, no, I'll complete now. I had to call security <laughs> to bundle him about. Now, then I told, now let us learn. This child has hardly any past. And therefore, he was relaxed, cheerful. And this 90 not out. Such a huge burden. Unless I unload it, all old people become hurt. Very strong ego because they are carrying the burden of the total past. Children don't get hurt. You scold them, next time, okay, Swamiji, give me chocolate. Abhi to lagaya tha ne? Then never mind. See, friends. We only talk about ego, ego. What is this ego? It must go. And this is what is called as the real understanding of life. See, friends. And because we are unable to understand this, we are holding on to this body. So, asanga shastrena dudena chitva. We have discarded so many bodies. 
Why hold on to this old body? Those who are daridri, poor people like me, I got hardly two, three pairs of uh, lungi and shirt. But you people have got the what walk in wardrobes. <laughs> and once they get inside, they, it is like a chakra view, how to come out? <laughs> Everywhere, all those things are hanging pathetically. Are you going to no. See, friends, why worry about this old body? Discard it. Get a fresh one. The purpose of our Dharma Shastra is if you do good or bad, you will be again born. That means you are not dying. What is the use of being a dharmic and all the time talking about death? See, friends, if we hear about anybody's death and if a passing thought comes in our mind about our death, we have done zero spirituality till death. My God, itna bhajan kirtan kuta. Come to discover you are not attached. Between the two, when one person dies, either one of the spouse, then the one who is living, suppose that is a lady who is living. Then we watch the dialogue that time. Without him, I cannot do. Why he has left me, Mama? And all the people are there. They are thinking, oh, ye bhi ja rahi hai. But what happens? One month gone, two months gone, six months gone, one year, two year, three year. And then they say, hey, you were telling that day you want to die. What happened? <laughs> I cannot live without him. What happened? Change the program? Yes. <laughs> See, friends, attachment is an illusion. Don't substantiate it by watering with foolishness. Asanga Shastra Nidradena Chitva Tataha Tat Padam Parimargitavyam Then you can seek the truth. See, holding on to this world and wanting the Paramatma. Instead of going Godwards, we'll go dogwards. See, friends, our ability to withdraw from the world should be so instantaneous and quick as when an object is taken away from the mirror, there is no trace of memory of the reflection left in the mirror. Keep that as the goal. But we only jane kaha gaye wo di wo bhi gaye baad mein tum jao na. <laughs> See friends, we old people don't understand. Nobody is interested in our past. Youngsters are busy and worried about their future. Now what I have got, what is my future? Zero. See? But I'll be talking all the time about my past. Jab hum bachche the, nange pair school mein jate the. Aaj kal ke bachche, aray tum nange kapde se jau na. Who cares? Remember this principle of life. And therefore, we can seek the truth. Bhagavan Krishna gives the spiritual practice really. In his uh, sadhana panchakam. Nirmana moha. Jita Sangha Dosha, Adhyatma Nitya, Vini Vritta Kama, Dvanvair Vimukta, Sukadukka Sanyayi. These are the five principles. First is Nirmana Moha. Mana means measurement. One liter, liter is not an object. One liter what? Milk. Then, 10 miles. 10 miles is not an object. 10 miles is a distance between two points. 
one ton. One ton is not an object. You made it up some object. So measurement is called the mana. Nirmana. We have all measured ourselves with three parameters. Time, space and object. When we fill in any form, what we do? First, DOB, date of birth. Before that, I was not there. Then, second thing, what is the height and width? Four feet tall, six feet wide. <laughs> Space. And then, weight, two tons. So, we have measured ourselves, time, space and object. And that means body identification. Nirmana moha, first spiritual practice. Nowhere it is mentioned in our scriptures. Study Bhagavad Gita, devotee. There are no makeup signs of a devotee. He should have a dot com, or he should have a U turn, <laughs> or he should have the railway lines, <laughs> or he should have the electric post. <laughs> See, or he should have Rudraksha Mala, or Spatika Mala, or Vajanti Mala. No. <laughs> But our spirituality has nothing to do with all this rubbish. See, friends, that is a real spiritual practice which will help us freedom from death. Even if you want, you cannot die. As a body, we cannot die because we are not body. As a soul, we cannot die because we are born again and again. If I am born again, where did I die? Yesterday I told you, very simple way to look at it. When I left earlier place, that earlier place is dead for me. I am still the same. When I leave this place tomorrow, this New York will be dead for me. I will go to New, uh, um, Allentown. There I will stay for two, three days. The Allentown dead for me. I go to the next place. Where did I die? As we change the places, we don't die. Exactly the same way. As we have changed the bodies, baby body thrown, teenage thrown, where did we die? In the same manner, dhirastatranamuyati. When the old body is dead, who cares? Marne bhi nahi dete. See friends, nirmana moha. And if this we want to achieve, then the next step, Jita Sangha Dosha, where this is contradicted, where you are told again and again, if you die, you go to heaven, if you die, you go to hell, avoid to go to those places. Those who frighten you of death. Once it happened, here only, I was in a some mall, my friend has to go for his work. He says, Swami, if you don't mind, I will uh, drop you near the mall. You just see what I think you want to see. And I will come within an hour or two. Then I will finish my meeting. I got some money. No problem. So, I was in a mall. And I was walking in the parking lot. So, one person came, one Padri. He stopped the car and he asked me, um, excuse me, are you a Hindu? I said, any objection? <laughs> no, do you believe in Jesus? I said, no, I believe in Lord Jesus. Okay, okay, Lord Jesus, yes. <laughs> then you are a Christian? I said, yes, I am a Christian. But you said you are a Hindu? I said, yes, I am a Hindu. How come? I said, latest technology, two in one. <laughs> <laughs> You laughed. He became angry. <laughs> he said, if you say like this thing, you will go to hell. I said, excuse me, where will you go? <laughs> of course, I will go to heaven. I said, if you go to heaven, I will prefer hell. <laughs> Who wants your company? <laughs> we are all frightened. If you do this thing, you will go to hell. 
such fearful people are not qualified for spiritual evolution. Bhagavad Gita says, Abhayam Sattva Samshuddhi, Jnana Yoga Vyavasthiti. The first quality of a seeker is Abhayam, fearlessness. Otherwise, all the name of it, I am afraid of whether I know or not. Right? See, friends, therefore, when we are the slowly and steadily understanding the real meaning of spirituality, where they talk about all these things, going to hell, going to heaven, and then he has gone, she has gone, don't get lost in that. Then, Adhyatmanitya, third spiritual practice. Now, Adhyatmanitya means what? Be very attentive. Whenever we do anything mechanically, it has an impact up to a limited extent. Instead of eating somebody else's head, we eat the God's head. Because you are busy all the time. Reading, poti, japa, bhajan, kirtan, continuously going on. Friends, the fructification of the upasana, what you are doing, is not bhakti. It is upasana. Upasana is outside. Bhakti happens inside. Bhakti is not done. Upasana is done. See. So when we are engaged in our Upasana, what should happen? I tell you one very beautiful story, which is in the beginning of Tripura Rasya. One of the most enchanting and very difficult texts is Tripura Rasya. The story goes, Parshuramji has killed 21 times the Kshatriyas. 22nd time he came across Bhagwan Rama, he was defeated. So when he was defeated, he became frustrated and went to the forest, Malagiri mountain. All the Babaji's happened because of that only. Bibi Nemara, Babaji Vanja. <laughs> so he was defeated, he went to the forest. And there he came across one great Mahatma, comfortably lying without any problem. In his very presence, Parashuramji experienced a deep breeze of peace. He said, Sir, what is this experience? He said, This is Brahmananda. No, 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 you tell me, teach me properly. You are simply telling it is, but you have to teach me. That Mahatma understood. He said, look here, you are very intelligent. I am Chora Ganga Kinare Wala. I don't know how to teach. Why don't you go to some intelligent guru? And then address is given. Bhagwan Dattatriya is the intelligent guru. He goes to Bhagwan Dattatriya. And he again, blah, 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 blah. Intellectuals are always very long tongue. So, <coughs> where he goes and talks to Bhagavan Dattatreya and Bhagavan Dattatreya seeing the envelope, he could read the contents. He don't have to open. He said, yes, you just don't get Brahmananda, you have to do sadhana. Ah, he knows. What sadhana? He is given one stone. This is Tripura Devi. And rules and regulations are given. Give her Nice bath every day with warm water, milk, water, dahi, water, ghee, water, honey, water, uh, sugar cane juice, water, every day. Do this puja, do this arati. You should sleep on the floor. Keep her in one place. Just go on doing pradakshina. Every day, 100,000 pradakshina. And keep on chanting. And poor Parashuramji did it for a day or two. One tapas, 12 years. After 12 years, come on, yaar, what I am doing? I am only telling this, you are a Devi, Devi, Devi. Who is this Devi? I don't know. I think I wasted my time. And he goes back to his guru. Sir, I feel I have wasted 12 years of my life. So, Bhagavan Dattatre says, no, you are not wasted. Because now an inquiry is kindled in your heart. 
who is the devi if we are doing upasana it must culminate into inquiry who am i what is this world kastvam koham kutamayatah kame janani kometatah iti paribhavaya sarvam asaram vishvam tyaktva sapna vicharam bhaja govindam bhaja govindam e friends adhyatma nitya therefore means study of scriptures must culminate into inquiry about the self see this is one meaning of adhyatma nitya second meaning is adhyatma nitya always keep readings of the quality of your mind what should be the quality of the mind three factors number one quiet second alert third vigilant Quiet mind should not be sleepy one, like meditation. No, quiet, non-reactionary mind. Before we take up any job, we must be relaxed. When the job is done, it is done perfectly well. And after the job is over, it is the same state of mind. It has no. undulations no corrugations stay the same adhyatma nitya we know only two extremes of our mind one extreme is either the mind is multi pointed going from one theme to another theme incessantly or the mind is zero pointed goes to sleep in no time therefore many people when they come to satsang they sleep because two extremes the requirement is mind has to be single pointed single pointed means what not take a thread and put saliva on that and make make it hard and put into the hole of the needle and gone and it does not gone not that single pointed single pointed mind means it is available whenever we want for whatever purpose we want for whatever length of time we want the mind is freely available with a click of a mouse that is single pointed mind see adhyatma nitya then vinivrutta kama the four spiritual practice if we look within and ask about ourselves what i have done till date we all will get only one answer we have been struggling to fulfill our desires till date and yet desires are not fulfilled one desire is over second is standing in the queue second is over third is standing in the queue see therefore vinivrutta kama we have to draw a line thus far not further that is what is called as vana prastashram vana prastashram means what when your children are grown up settled let them destroy their life <coughs> independently rather than you helping them you have destroyed your life let them have freedom to destroy their life no we just wanted to help them <laughs> vana prasthashrami is preparing yourself to go to the forest vana is forest prastha is to go vana prastha he is preparing himself for herself to go to the forest and what is the forest there you don't get any servant be independent start taking zero service from anybody do your job sir this you won't understand here but india the people will understand better that is one of the reasons i advise people if you are coming husband and wife for my camp be very clear we keep the wives and husband separately in the camp not in the same room because in the same room they stay the same thing everything 
on the ladies wake up early gent wake up early uh, early and the ladies wake up wait late is rude so this man will get up and go to the bathroom from there he shout a uh, where is the toothpaste <laughs> and from the bed she will shout at him dikhta nahi kya and when he gets the morning prasad then he becomes normal लेकिन वो ब्रश नहीं दिख रहा है अनदर बैंक कम्स अंधे हो गए क्या नहीं अभी बच, बचे हैं यू हैव गॉन फॉर सत्संग फॉर टेकिंग दिस थिंग मेरी वृद्ध कहा डोंट एक्सपेक्ट एनी हेल्प फ्रॉम एनी बडी इन दिस वर्ल्ड वी अटेंड यू वी हैव टू लिव आवर लाइफ वी हैव टू डाई आवर डेथ we have to lead our own spiritual life there is no proxy on the spiritual path you can tell your wife honey i don't like that ayurvedic medicine will you please take for me that poor honey will take also but it will not help you ye vinivrutta kama therefore what is the real spiritual practice not struggling to fulfill the desires but learning from desire fulfillment when we have fulfilled one desire did we stop there second desire that is over did we stop no the reason is our equation is wrong our equation is fulfillment of desire will lead to fulfillment in life it can never happen life's goal should be fulfillment in life what is fulfillment in life there are no loose ends at any moment of time if the death come we should have the courage to shout at her why are you late we have been waiting see friends then you go beyond the possibility of death vinivrutta kama then dwandvari vimukta sukha dukha sanyahi is another important principle to learn a spiritual practice <coughs> this world is made up of twins there is nothing in this world very singular sukha dukham joy sorrows labha hani gain loss friend enemy peace no peace this is how the world is made up of and the mind cannot stay without the pairs mind will always be playing on these options vinivrutta kama dwandvai vimukta so what is to be done no for certain this is the fabric of the world where things are always there joy sorrows health disease birth death this is how the world is so what can you do accept it gracefully as only way gandhi vimukta sukhad eh gachanti amudha then we are wise and the wise people alone have entrance in the divine in other words it is the divine which expresses through the wise see friends mahatma is nothing but expression of paramatma through a living body he is called as mahatma see friends and in this manner when we are able to understand to go beyond the fear of death transcending conquering death is this understanding <clears throat> after this the next important topic we have to understand with reference to death is this funny thing called a soul bhagwan give this topic nirmana moha jita sangat uh, no 
ममे वंशो जीव लोके जीव भूत सनातन मन षष्टानींद्रिया प्रकृति स्थानी कर्षति शरीर यदवाप्नोति यद्याप्युत्क्रामतीश्वर गृही वैता संयाति वायुर्गंधा वाशयाद श्रोत्र चक्षुस्पर्शन चसन घ्राणमे चनिष्ठा मनश्चा विषयानुपसेवते इंपॉर्टेंट उत्क्रमत स्थित वापी भुंजान वा गुणाद विमूा बेवकूफ टोटल एंड देर फोर लाइक एवरी इश्यू हैज ए सोल इन द सेम मैनर एवरी बॉडी हैज ए सोल and the soul is inside and when a body dies the soul goes out of it like a bunsen burner in search of another body and then in one womb that uh, soul sees there was a board hanging um two space late let so there was a space in between so this small i goes in between two t o i l e t a toilet is born <laughs> all rubbish see friends mathematically speaking infinite cannot have parts of course parts can be imagined now take a gross example i am son husband and father so i will say a part of me has become a son a part of me has become a husband a part of me has become a father so are something coming out of me where are they they are only imaginations when we start taking imaginations as real samsar is born Hey friends, from the other standpoint, if you understand the same verse, Mama Eva Amshaha Jeeva Loke Jeeva Buddha Sanatana. If we are the part of the whole, and if the part of the whole is bliss, we should be blissful. But where from the blisters are coming? See friends, Vimudha Nanu Pashanti. and then the story goes that this jiva goes from one body to another body and we get carried away by that in the last life there is a very good friend of mine very old he must be about 92 was great yogi once he told me i know i am my all past lives and he started telling his in the last life i was in jabalpur in the family of so and so before that i was in dehradun in the family of so and so he went up to seventh life he said in the seventh life i was a parrot and then he said uh, i can tell swami ji about your life also i said do you don't have to tell i am everywhere where i am not and i said i know in the last life i was a donkey this life i continue <laughs> <laughs> What funny things! We move down, down, up, shanti, up, shanti, down, up, shanti, down, up, shanti. In short, infinite, with the conditionings, appears to have become many. So many colors and forms. Vision is one. So one vision. has become many go further one mind expressing through the eyes becomes vision the same mind coming out of the ears it becomes hearing ability the same mind coming out of the nose becomes poking ability we poke nose isn't it okay ability so behind all the organs there is one mind so one mind has become many because of these gadgets but mind has not become many mind is one 
So eyes are limited only to the vision. Ears are limited only to the sounds. But mind takes care of everything. Go further. One consciousness expressing through the donkey starts eating the newspaper. The same consciousness expressing through the man starts reading the newspaper. Behind both of them there is one consciousness. Vimudha nanu pashanti. After having told this, then the teacher gives us a practice. A practice this knowledge. Yada nitya gatam te jo jagat bhase te kilam ya chandra vasi ya chagnau tat te jo vidhi mamakam. Start from the sun. So the light and the brilliance and the energy in the sun is my expression. The cool is in the moon my expression. The heat in the fire is my expression. The ability of the earth to sustain life is my expression. I alone go in your stomach and digest all the food. Not only I may feed too, but sarvasya chaham rudhi I am in the heart of everyone. What do you do there? Mattaha smruti jnanam apohanancha. I alone support jnanam waking experience. Smruti, dream experiences. Apohanam, deep sleep experience. Chakarat Samadhi. I alone support everything. And therefore, Vedesha Sarvai, Aham Eva Vidyaha. The purpose of all the scriptural practice is come to know what is your essential nature. If that is not discovered, all what we have been doing is only trying to ride Ram Nam on the flowing rivers of Ganges and complain, I have been riding for so many years but it never remains there. As they are putting efforts are concerned, we don't lack. But putting efforts in the right direction is concerned. There we go wrong. See my friends, the amount of effort and strength we spend in living this world, the same amount of sincerity and strength and time you spend on this path is more than enough. You do not do anything extra. And as this goes, then you start living through the body and never struggle for God realization. Then let him express through us. You know, he told me his problems are he doesn't have hands, he doesn't have tongue, he doesn't have mind. Apani Pado. So he's searching. Are there free hands which are not busy in selfish activities? I want to express. Is there free mouth which is not busy in condemning others? I want to express that. Is there any mind which is free, not no more miserable? Let us allow him to express through us. And that can happen only if we wreck it. And when we wake it from this limited understanding that I am a soul, we have conquered death. Therefore, Mahatmas never die. So if we have to go beyond death, cease to be a CH Atma. You know who is CH Atma? So ya raja kumari. Oh, jang jayegi. See, friends. Therefore, real going beyond death is this understanding. 
Otherwise, it was not impossible for Bhagavan Krishna to continue. It was not impossible for Bhagavan Ram to continue. Why they have discarded their bodies? <coughs> Just to let us know that maintaining body eternally is not life. Because through every body, I am alone made, uh, expressing. Like mind alone is expressing through every channel. In the same manner, the ultimate experience is I am alone expressing through everything. And the last concluding thought, whenever anything is included in the definition of I, we cease to hate it. One point I'll tell you, try if you can. Never use the word hate in your life. In this country, I have seen people use this word very liberally. It's such a dirty word. When you say hate, your whole chemistry becomes polluted. If you say, I don't like it, it's a better way. I hate Bengal. Poor Bengal. I hate it. It's very simple, friends. Anything which is included in the definition of I, we don't hate it. Example. Like you are all sitting here, in Delhi there was one girl who used to sit right in front. Morning class, evening she would not come from her work, but morning she used to attend and go. Third day, when I went somewhere for breakfast, she also came there. I said, hey, here also you came, here there is no lecture. Swamiji, this is my house. I said, okay. <laughs> because I don't know who calls me where. I am not interested except in food. So, I said, okay, then mommy make that arrangement, you sit with me. And I took her hand in my hand. For the first time in my life, I have seen the uh, nails long and red color. So, I was very curious what exactly, how they become red, how they grow whether they have to put some injection or some diet change. So I was asking her. And she said, no, Swamiji, these are simply grown and we simply color each other. I said, oh, how nice they look, you know. If somebody comes to you, you can notch them. <laughs> Next day she came for the lecture and she was all the time doing like this. My attention was only there. So after, I said, hey, show me your hand. No, Swamiji, I said, no, I want to see. I pulled her hand. She has cut all of them. I said, hey, why did you cut? They were so beautiful. Anyway, where they are, give me. Swamiji, I have thrown them away. Now, I said, what you have learned? Whole spiritual practices, learn, learn, learn. When the nails were attached to your body, they were a sign of beauty. In the same nails, are detached from the body, they become garbage. So if we include the whole universe in the definition of our I, who will we hate? None. That is called a parabhakti. Advesta sarva bhutanam maitra karuna evasha. This is the meaning. See, my friends, therefore, let us not separate ourselves from anybody. In this merging in the totality, there is no death, there is no birth, there is only happiness. And it is uncreated happiness and therefore it will never be over. Give it a try and be happy. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnaat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Namaha Hari Om